What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Geek Weekly Podcast. I am your host, Leslie, and today's very special guest is the head coach of Orange Theory and Fitness in West Midtown, Unique Rembert. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited for this week, this week's episode. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So, how has physical fitness, has physical fitness always been something that you have been interested in? Yes um, and no. Yes, because I've been running track since I was six. And I actually have a sister who's in the Olympics, who was in the Olympics. Um, So she was kind of my motivation to keep going. And then after I graduated and I didn't run track in college like everybody else did, I kind of felt down, but I wanted to do something to help participate in fitness a little bit more. Um, And that's kind of how I found Orange Theory. My sister actually told me about it. But no, because I used to want to be a veterinarian And that was like my dream from when I was little all the way up to me getting a job as a veterinarian assistant. And after I got that, I actually realized I didn't really want to do that because of the energy that you get when you're doing that. The animals are not happy to see you. They're terrified. They're scared shitless. So I realized I don't really like this that much, but I've always loved fitness. That is incredibly interesting. And that is I think that is so interesting to hear that your sister was like in the Olympics and she helped you kind of find your passion more, if you will. Oh yeah, she's literally the best. That is so cool. So what led you to this career choice since you decided to not be a veterinarian? So after um, college, I went to Kent State University and I was just like, what do I do next? Like, I'm kind of bored. I don't really know what to do. Um, Mika, that's her name. She used to be a coach after she stopped running as just kind of like a side job and coaching takes up a lot of time and she's married. She's got three kids and she's like, I can't physically do this because I have other priorities, but this would be perfect for you. You're just getting out of college. You're single. um, You don't have any kids. So getting into Orange Theory because she was in it was like kind of my end. I took class, loved it. Um, it reminded me of track practice, but like a fun version of track practice. Um, I stayed a member for a while and then I kind of went on my journey to become a coach. That is so interesting. Incred- that is such an interesting thing that your sister just kind of was like you're in for it. Being yeah. a coach. That's so, that's so cool to me. Okay. How do you feel that um, working as a coach is helping you grow personally? I definitely am learning more. Um, life's life skills would that be the word no not life skills well clearly life skills but I work with a lot of people I'm also now so I have to manage people and you get to talk to people from all walks of life like we have doctors in here we have students in here we have people in here who just want to do fitness because They need to get out the house to talk to somebody. Um, We have people who are doing fitness because last week they wanted to kill themselves. And now they have a whole, like, it's, it's amazing. And I feel like you, one, you learn to humble yourself and you realize that the world is a lot bigger than you are. Um, Being a coach, that can definitely be hard because you're on the microphone. All eyes are on you. People think that they're, they're got it at some point. They just think that these people are here to see me. No, they're not here to see you. They're here to get better and you you've just been privileged enough to be able to fit in a position to help these people get their goals so it humbles you a lot um I feel like I've become a little bit more empathetic and and I've become a better listener because you can't help somebody with their goals if you don't listen to what they need and before it, I was a respond immediately type of person versus a listen to respond type of person and now I feel like I'm even in my everyday conversations, I'm able to retain a lot more. And you see a lot of repeat personalities too. So it's actually really interesting. I feel like I'm in the matrix sometimes. Like, wow, I've done that before. Uh, I, I really love that you get to help all different kinds of people at different parts in their life. Like you, like you said, you have students, you have doctors, you have people who just need to get out of the house to better their mental state. Like, 
I think I think physical fitness is something that is incredibly important and can seriously help people out a lot. 100%. 100%. Fitness literally boosts your endorphins. It gives you more life, literally. Mm-hmm. So is it is it rewarding to you to help people meet their goals? Oh, 100%. That's the best part of the job. It's so we have, for example, um, I'm going to tell her and listen to this too. I told her I was going to name drop her, but <laughs> we have a member of Autumn and she joined probably about six months ago, six or seven months ago. And when she joined, she had just moved down. Or she just moved down here. She was finishing up school. She was not happy with how she looked. Um, her state of life at the time, like she just was not happy. And her friend happens to work here, which is how she got in here to take class. And after the first class, she was exhausted. She didn't really know if she liked it. She didn't used to be able to go through a full 60 minute class. And now she's lost like so much weight. And she says it all the time, but she's made so many new friends here. She has been able to improve her confidence. She goes out more and she said along on the journey she kind of forgot about the fact that she's here to lose weight she loves coming here as just like a piece of like an hour of her day like this is like yeah. her happy so that is like the best part because a lot of people come in here they're like very scared very nervous and orange theory can be pretty intimidating if you are brand new because you've got a 50 year old woman running at a 12 mile per hour speed on the treadmill. And you're like, wow, how is she doing that? Well, from practice, like she didn't come in here one doing that, but they're not thinking about that. They're just thinking everybody's gonna be watching me. Um, they're gonna make fun of me. I don't know what I'm doing. And then after you get in here and you realize everybody's very supportive, everyone is also dying around you. So then they don't have any mental capacity to be able to look at you and do anything. Um, you slowly realize that like, again, the world is bigger than just you and you just got to do it. You just got to come in here and do it and push yourself. But yeah, that is the best part of the job, watching people get their results. Like I've seen people cry because they ran a mile in under 10 minutes and they never been able to do that before or lift a, lift a dumbbell. It's it's the best job I've ever had, honestly. It sounds incredibly rewarding getting to help people meet like as you were saying with Autumn, her whole, how she just was completely just lacking confidence, not happy with herself. And now she's thriving. Thriving, thriving, honey, thriving. So what would you say is your favorite part of your career? I guess my favorite part of my career is doing something that I love because like I said, I used to run track and I don't run track anymore. And not running track in college definitely felt like I lost a piece of myself because I've done it for so long. I'm six years old, up to age 20, 19, up to age 19. So being able to still use my body in that capacity as my job and give people tips from what I've learned to get to that point is amazing. Um, And also being able to meet new people. I'm a huge extrovert. So I love talking to people. I love meeting people. Um, I love learning all about people. So that's also really nice because I see about, I would say maybe 200 to 300 people a day. And I know at least 90% of them. I know their names. I know their animals' names, their children's names, what they do for work. Like, I love it. That is impressive. Like you see so many people in a day and you just like know the majority. Yeah. And a lot of these people here are my friends now. That's like so nice I moved out um, in 2019. Yeah, in 2019. So I didn't have any friends down here. And Orange Theory must be my first job. So I've met all my friends through Orange Theory. Um, and it's literally been amazing. Like these, the, some of these people here, I never thought I would call them my family, but I view a lot of the people that I work with my family. That is so sweet. That's so great. Um, so how do you support yourself nutritionally to have the energy that you do to teach for long hours at a time all day? I need to do better at that. Um, (laughs) I drink a lot of water. I am always moving. So unfortunately I don't eat as much as I'm supposed to Mm -hmm. because people think that in order to like maintain a specific amount of weight or lose weight, 
you shouldn't eat a lot, you need to eat a lot. You actually need to eat a lot more because your body, you're you're doing all this fitness stuff. Like you can dehydrate yourself, you can fatigue yourself, you can injure yourself if you're not giving yourself the proper nutrition. So I don't eat a lot. Um, when I do though, I I kind of you the more you work out, the more your body honestly stops craving certain things. Mm -hmm. So like junk food is not a thing for me. Um, pop is not a thing for me. Mm -hmm. I love coffee, but I can still go without coffee for like three, four weeks because that's just how it is, weirdly. But I eat a lot of seafood. Mm -hmm. um, I try to eat a lot of vegetables. My fiance is a health fanatic and he's without the title. He will literally, I'll literally be sitting next to him eating a bag of chips and he'll be sitting next to me drinking his smoothie. So we kind of balance each other out. Um, and meal prepping helps me out a lot too. Like my staff, they're, I love them to death. They make sure I eat. So if I don't come in here with something, they're making sure I'm buying something or they're scolding me for not bringing something in the studio to eat. I'm glad that you have people that will, that especially your fiance who like helps balance you out and all. That's so, that's good. It's good to have. It's, it's great to have. So long, how, so how long have you been working um, at the Orange Theory in West Midtown? I've been at West Midtown for a year because we, I actually opened the studio last year. So we opened literally as the pandemic was basically ending. Um, but I've been an Orange Theory coach for, I'm going on year five this year. Wow. Well, congratulations on year five. Year five or year four, but thank you. <laughs> that's, that's, I love that for you. That's so great. Uh, that's so impressive to me that you opened up your own studio. Yeah, it took a lot. Um, teaching new people, new processes who've never seen it before. Um, working with brand new members, dealing with all the things that come with the brand new building. We were out, we were without air conditioning for three months. And that was before it got cold that we, it probably happened in like, September or October and we're a gym and we are high intensity interval training gym so that was tough but after the first I mean I feel like the minute January happened it's like okay we've done all this before we know exactly what to expect we know exactly how to move so we learned we all learned a lot from the first year a lot of the people who opened the studio with me are still here oh that is amazing that they're all just still with you mm -hmm. I cannot um, I cannot imagine not having AC, especially where you're located, that in September. Oh, yeah. We just literally tell them, like, this is the part of your workout. You, you, you're burning more calories. Yeah. <laughs> they love it, but some of them would definitely get irritated, as, as I expected, because it's hot. There's no cool air anywhere. It's fixed now. That's why I have this hoodie on, because I'm freezing. <laughs> that, I'm glad it's fixed. I'm glad it's fixed. Um, why do you feel the Orange Theory Fitness Program is more successful than other programs? Because they've figured out how to combine what is needed for a salaried nine to five um, in health and fitness. I don't think there's another fitness facility or gym out here that has a consistent structure Orange Theory gets all of our clients for us and we have a specific system on how they get them. Um, they make all the workouts. Like we have a whole corporate office that we've never even met that makes all the workouts. They test them weeks and weeks out. And then they make a little like fit book for us. And in the fit book, it tells you what the focus is for the day um, in each little part, like how to coach it, what you need to tell the members to make them feel it like the proper way. Um, as for like compensation, they do like tiers. So depending on the certain amount of people that are in your classes, you get a certain amount of money. They also paid us throughout the pandemic, whereas a lot of people who were fitness professionals lost their job. And that's because they are very careful with their money. Sometimes it can be annoying, but it definitely, seeing that, being a part of that um, was very eye-opening. Like, okay, I complain about my job. Like, penny pinching here and there but look who's actually showing up for me when I'm when everybody else is struggling you know so they've just figured out their system on how to 
maintain people more so. The, <clears throat> the fact that y'all, that they continued to pay y'all during the pandemic, that is just incredible. And I think it's cool that you'll have like the little books of how to teach it and how to execute the class. Yeah, those things are super helpful. I used to be a personal trainer before this and I love making workouts. Like that's another fun thing about being a personal trainer is because you get to personalize it to be your own. But mm -hmm. the minute I got to Orange Theory, I'm like, okay, we're spoiled because this is amazing. You just wake up and figure out how you're going to put your personal stamp on the the class itself, but everything's already there. That's incredible that they give, that you can put your little touch on it. Like, Oh yeah, they highly, highly encourage that. They actually get upset if you don't. Oh really? Wow. Okay, so every episode I ask a little dinner party question and it is different from all the other questions. And so, Unique, if you had a late night talk show, who would you invite as your first guest? I would invite... Bianca Belair from WWE. I love that. I love that. Okay. So yesterday I put a question box on Instagram and I got some questions in. All right. So one of this week's questions is from Kingston and he says, what got her or what, what got you into what you do? What got me into what, like, as in, like, Orange Theory specifically or fitness? Uh, Orange Theory. My sister mainly. My sister and the passion that you see from the coaches. Because I was a member before mm -hmm. I was a coach. And just seeing how passionate they were about this product and me not understanding why they were so passionate about it made me a little bit more skeptical to want to kind of see what it's about. Um, and again, my sister, because she's done it before, she literally was like, this is, this screams unique. Like she needs to be in this environment. So it was nice having her like introduce me to Orange Theory and then being in the environment and realizing this is why they are as passionate as they are. This is why members are so like, they call us a cult for a reason. Like we basically, a cult. not a real cult, but like the community here and Again, believing in this product because it works. So yeah, yeah. Uh, this question is from Kendall, and it is, "How are you so motivated, and how do you push through when you're just tired?" You just remind yourself that you have you're gonna have highs and you're gonna have lows, but those are just reminders that you know you're alive. Like what goes up must come down, and again, what goes down has got to go up back again. You can't expect to be motivated every single day but I will also say that these members motivate me it doesn't matter what's going on the minute I come into the studio the minute I put on the microphone and start talking to them and seeing their smile seeing how engaged they are listening to me I kind of forget like oh yeah I just got in an argument with this person or I'm going through this tough time like I just yeah. love helping people that's kind of my motivation I love that Okay, this question is from Carrie Dufresne, and it is, why is Carrie, Carrie. your favorite, <laughs> yes, why is Carrie your favorite Orange Theory member, and why? <laughs> of course, that um, Carrie is one of my favorite Orange Theory members, because I will get jumped if I say she's my favorite, but <laughs> Carrie started with me when I was at my first studio, oh. and yeah, she started with me there and she has seen it all. She's seen the different coaches and the different management at my own studio. She's seen me at like a time where I was demotivated and she definitely helped me where like she helped remind me that I'm an amazing coach because I don't give myself enough credit. I'm trying to do that more this year. But Carrie was definitely one of those people that's like, uh, uh, don't you ever, don't you ever, you <laughs> Hold your head up high. So I love Carrie for that. I love Carrie. Carrie is the sweetest. She's so motivational. She is. Okay. So here's the big question. Every episode is the tagline of the show. And Unique, what do you geek out about? I geek out about anime and WWE. 
anime because I love cartoons and I love fantasy. So if you put them together, bam. Um, WWE because one day I want to be a WWE superstar. That is so cool. Oh, I hope that that comes true for you. That is a true girl. <laughs> I I've always loved like they are just it is incredible like what WWE what they achieve what they do. It's just yeah, and how they use their bodies and from all the working out I do here, I'm like, well, maybe one day I can put all this to the test. Carry <laughs> be my camera operator. Um. Or if I became WWE, everybody's like, oh, I'm coming with you. I'm like, all right, we got a squad. <laughs> I, that is so perfect. That is, a, that, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Unique, for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Um, this has been great. I, I've loved talking to you, and I think it is so cool, and I really hope that you get to become a WWE wrestler one day. <laughs> thank you we have to get you into a class I don't are you in Atlanta um I am outside of Atlanta but I am close okay well you have to come down I'm gonna tell Carrie <laughs> to hit you up I'll go come together <laughs> yes ma'am <laughs> well thank you so much for being here with us today and thank you everyone for listening and I will see everyone next week bye guys <laughs>